Welcome back to Really Married. Super excited to have Tim Bone from TBF Mortgage here with us in the studio today. Hello, Mary. It's good to be here. Tim, what happens in election year? Well, it's all about the bottleneck and... You're going to have to tune in to hear what we have to say about that. For those of you that haven't met Tim, um, tell us about where you're headquartered, how many years you've been in the business. We are headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're licensed in about 12 states. And I've been in the business 25 years, and I've been doing mortgages and home loans for a long time. And it's been a good run. It's been a good run. Well, he doesn't look like he's been in the business 25 years because he probably started when he was 12. <laughs> let's let's face that. Um, but, you know, with all that experience, you know, we're sitting here um, the beginning of December, and... We're going into something kind of special, an election year. What has been your experience, Tim, in an election year to what happens? You know, it's 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 funny that I'm, I'm a big history buff, and history does one thing. It repeats itself. Yeah. And in an election year, it's through all my experience and through all the knowledge and all the economics, an election year is always a great time in the, the housing market and the financing market because drastically things get better yeah, and the market gets better. Rates get better. Sellers have an advantage to take, take advantage of their, their housing and take advantage of the, the equity in their property Yeah, and buyers can go jump in and take advantage of this. It's so it's in, in a election year more than other, more than any other wrong, time. Any yeah. Other time, right. It, it, it's, it's a better time. Yeah. Because it, it, it reaps the benefits. It does reap the benefits. You know, I haven't been in the business as long as you have, but let's face it, whether you're red or blue or purple or green or whatever color Doesn't you matter. want to put yourself in at, you know, the difference is what's going to happen and what our um, folks are going to do with interest rates, which helps affordability. And what typically has happened with that? Well, you know, like you just hit the nail on the head is like whether you're red or blue, purple or green. Yeah. The, the party in the, in the in the White House wants to get reelected. Right. The party that's not in the White House wants to get elected. Yeah. So the consumer gets the benefit of both, and we get to reap lower rates. Yeah. Better equity, better financing. Everything seems to play out during an election year for a consumer. Right. And it doesn't matter with whether inflation's high, prices are high. It all works out during this year. It has historically for the last 50 years. And you can look the data up and it show that. I love that. I love that because it's been a little hard for some folks to get in, to have the affordability. Um, interest rates at 3%, you could afford a lot. Interest rates where we are today is closer to 8 yeah. Well, I think last time we talked, it was we did a, a comparison of between eight percent and seven percent in the right. difference in the price of the house, and you're looking at today. We're as at thirty days ago, we were eight and a quarter. And today we're in the seven point seven five to seven point six two five range. It, yeah. it, it's a massive affordability price, right? Just in that five eighths to three quarters percent rate for people that it, it's a thousand dollars a month in in this in Southwest Florida. And the price of a house and yeah. the affordability of a payment that's a thousand dollars a month and it's amazing what can happen and i right. think right now is a time to jump in more than any because the start mm -hmm. of election the start of everything and you can see with the christmas shopping and the expenditures and, and all the right. reports that are going to come out that the market is stable the house prices are stable before they go up even more right just the bottom like, we're gonna get to that in a second the yeah. bottleneck of prices that's it's at some point supply and demand is going to take effect yeah and right now is the time to buy in southwest florida you know you you mentioned this the bottleneck and if you haven't been following or understand what that is tim tell us what is that bottleneck okay the bottleneck is where you've got sellers and buyers that are waiting to sell before they can buy because they're trying to find a place to buy you've got buyers that are on the fence because they're waiting on rates and right. everything bottlenecks to a peak yeah i think right now we're at the bottleneck where you can yeah. see the difference of it, it's better to jump off the fence and, and get in the market 
then wait because it's going to cost you more in three to six months if you wait because the prices are only going up. Right. And rates are going to settle, but the prices of a home is going up. It, it, there, there's a, there's a, the bottleneck is where you got to weigh your odds of where you want to jump in. But yeah. right now is the perfect time in the market to buy, sell, and do what you want to do. I love that. You know, I think, I think he said it best. You know, we've been seeing things happen. Interest rates have been going up, kind of bouncing in and up and down. Um, we've seen inflation numbers that where they're, the Fed is keeping our interest rates up so that inflation come, can come down, and it has. You know, we've seen housing prices go up. And, you know, some people have been waiting because they couldn't afford it. Some people have been waiting because they thought the prices would drop. They thought, you know, interest rates would drop. You know, you mentioned something earlier about interest rates. What's going to happen after we get through all this and get settled with inflation? Are the interest rates going to go up or come down? Historically, the interest rates go down yeah. in election year. And so with that, you're going to see some refinancing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it's, it's one of those things that when you get into a house, you buy the house for the house, not the payment. And we can always adjust the payment while you're in the house. Yeah. So the rate can always go down. If you get into a house at 7.75 or 8%, yeah. that, that's always a worst case scenario. We can always adjust that and right. get you down to seven to six and a half to five, whenever the market adjusts. That's what we're here for. We're, right. we're, we're not here for the one-time transaction. We're here for the process and the long haul. Love that. So you've heard it here best. You heard Tim say, it's time to buy. It's time to sell. Interest rates are going to move and maybe time to fi refinance at the end of this year. But until next time, I'm Mary Bartis with the Bartos Group of Premier Plus Realty and my friend, Tim Bone, TBF Mortgage. <laughs> Ciao.